All right, everybody. Who here is ready for some football? That's weak. Are you kidding me? I said, who here is ready for some football? Who here is ready for some life lessons? Look, man, I tell you what, you better step it up, because I tell you what, these guys are going to give you the best they have. They want the best out of you. Equal is equal, right? Yes, two sir. equals two, right? Yes, Do your sir. thing, man. They got their best. You got your best. Bring your A game. Now, who here is for some football? Yeah. Who here is for some life lessons? Yeah. All right, everybody. Now, here's how we do it in Philadelphia. If you know an Eagles chant, there's only one way to do it. It's not E-A-G-L-E-S. Uh -uh. <laughs> that ain't doing it. It's E-A-G-L-E-S, Eagles for life. Now, when I get to three, I want the best you got. I don't care if you're an Eagles fan or not. You will be right now. <laughs> <laughs> now on three, I want you to give the best you got. I'll give you my best, I want your best. On three, E A G L E S, you hear me? Yes, sir. One, two, three, E A G L E S P -E O for life. God bless. We're here here with Sean Young today who is the biggest Eagles fan in the country and the world here at Junior Rank here today. Sean, welcome to the Junior Rank. How you doing, pal? I'm doing great, Artie. How are you yourself? I'm doing pretty good. Uh, I know you're loving them Eagles. What do you think is going to happen this year, kid? Well, I'll tell you what, man. You know what? I say it every year that we're going to be good, but you know what? This year's got that special feel to it, man. I mean, we had one hell of a draft this year. I mean, unbelievable draft that everybody just, just salivated over. And, you know, to think that to have these, some of these kids really step in and, and make a difference with some of the names that we already have out there. I mean, to be able to have Cox go in there and play in the middle next to Colin Jenkins between Babbitt and Cole. You got Michael Kendricks coming in there to step in and play a little bit of linebacker and stuff. You had D'Amico Ryans to help lead him away a little bit. I mean, you got Namdi and you got DRC out there, so they're going to help Boykins out there and stuff. I mean, you got, you got some serious talent and everything. And then that's just the defensive side of the ball. You got the offense. You got guys locked up on, uh, on their contracts here. You got Deshaun McCoy locked up on their contracts. And Michael Vick, I mean, he gives us what he did two years ago, the first half of the year and stuff. I mean, this is going to be a team that's going to New Orleans in, in February. Well, I'll tell you what, the Philadelphia fans, who I think are the greatest fans in all the world, by the way, and loyal to the Eagles 100%. They want to taste the championship and, and, and get back in that Super Bowl. And when they lost to New England, which they could have won that game maybe, but they want to, they want a shot at the Super Bowl. And why not? I mean, to the best fans in the world, Eagle guys, they got to get a shot. I think you're right with the draft picks and the trade to get D'Amico Rimes into Philadelphia. They addressed all their weak spots on defense because they already have a great offense. Michael Vick, uninjured, play like he did a couple years ago. Watch out the NFL because this team could be very good. It's frightening, man, because this offense is just is built for speed, man, and these guys can put up points in, in seconds. And you don't need to have these nine, eight, nine-minute drives or anything like that. They can do it if they need to because they have guys that can move the chains little by little and stuff, but they have these guys that they just flat out explode and go 90 on you in a second. Vic has got a sick arm. He's got speed with Macklin and, and Deshaun Jackson on the outside. He's got a a bull of a tight end with uh, Selican air that once he gets that ball and gets a little green in front of him, man, you must forget about it. Just put a red towel in front of him because he's going to run right through you and stuff. And you got Jason Avant that can move those chains and get those third downs for you and everything. So, it, I mean, it's just, a, you know, a, a hell of an offensive line. Obviously, losing Peters hurts, but we got a great offensive line there in front of us, you know, with uh, Harriman's and, and Watkins. And you got to hope that you know, Jamal Jackson like that. And then you know, hopefully Demetrius That's Bell will step Bell. in and, and make a difference. You know, I mean, the, They're high on Bell, though, they, Sean. They They're very high on Bell. And I, you know, I'm, I'm really looking forward to see what this kid uh, could do. I mean, Peters was a huge aspect, obviously, on that running game last year and helping McCoy a lot. And the screen game um, was huge last year with McCoy, with you know, you know with Jason Peters running out there and stuff, and just pancaking people. If Demetrius Bell can give us any of that this year, I mean, it's again, we're going we're gonna to see some duplicated you know, uh, stats. With, uh, you know, with McCoy and Jackson again. Sean Young, I could say one thing about Sean. When he's at the Philadelphia Eagles games, he's noticed for everybody, but this guy gets jacked up more than anybody in the country in the world for the Philadelphia Eagles. Dedicated, he's been there since 1995, and there's no bigger fan of the Philadelphia Eagles in the world, in the universe, in the country, than Sean Young. And it's always a pleasure to have Sean here at the junior rank to pump up these kids here and give them the Eagles chant. But on top of everything else, Sean is a great guy, and he's out there for the kids. He's out there to show them that, hey, respect, love your football, 
get good grades, and cheer for your home team. Sean, thanks so much for doing this interview. You're a great guy. I appreciate it. Thanks to Junior Ranks here with Sean Barry and Brett Cooper and Mark McMillan, Byron Evans for asking me to come out here again this year. I mean, it's, I'm very thankful for it, and it's a pleasure to be able to spend an afternoon to watch these kids grow, not only as football players, but as, as uh, young men to adult men and everything. And I greatly appreciate these guys looking at me as somebody that can help you know, lead these kids a little bit and show them a little bit of enthusiasm and stuff and show what it's all about. Well, it wouldn't be the same if you weren't here at Junior Ranks, so we all appreciate you, brother. Thank right. you so Thank much. You so much.